Kraków, Poland's second largest city after Warsaw, is widely regarded as one of the most beautiful cities in the world. The former capital, which is located on the banks of the Vistula River, has long been a significant center of art, business, and culture in the country, and is still a dynamic and bustling town today. Kraków has a diverse architectural style, with Renaissance and Baroque churches coexisting alongside Gothic and Art Nouveau structures, owing to its repeated invasions, destructions, and rebuildings over the ages. The former residents of the Polish kings and queens boast a plethora of wonderful bars and restaurants to visit, as well as a variety of cultural events and festivals throughout the year. Kraków is a renowned tourist destination due to its numerous activities and tempting tourist sites. Let's see what there is to do in Kraków. Number 1. Historic Old Town The medieval quarter is a UNESCO World Heritage Site that is surrounded by vast Plany Park, which grew where the ancient moat served its defensive purposes. As you enter the Barbican, you will learn more about the remaining fortifications of Poland's former capital. The historic old town of Kraków, with the main square at its core, offers tourists equally appealing sights an astonishing play of light on the facade of aristocratic buildings, the architectural intricacies of Slovak theater, the delightful charm of Little Market Square, the coziness of traditional artisan shops housed in its medieval cellars, or lengthy shadows cast by the Tower of Town Hall or imposing monuments of this history-ridden neighborhood. It's an excellent sight to begin your stroll along the royal route to Wavell Castle. 2. Main Market Square If you didn't know, the Mongolian Empire extended all the way to Poland. This square was created in medieval times, following an invasion, and it is a remarkable example of medieval urban planning. This is the bustling and dynamic heart of Kraków's old town, which is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. It's one of Kraków's attractions, with a variety of historical buildings as well as places to dine, drink, and have a good time. Be on the lookout for a jumble of architecture, including neoclassical 20th century facade. Simply stroll around the square and soak up the magnificent atmosphere of one of Europe's largest squares. On the outskirts of this square in Kraków, there are a number of significant sites that are well worth seeing. If you're looking for a place to stay in Kraków, this location has a lot to offer. Visit St. Mary's Basilica and the Cloth Hall. This is one of the best nightlife areas in town, as well as home to some of Kraków's best restaurants. 3. Wavell Castle, like the Old Town, is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. It was the seat of monarchy from the 13th through the 17th centuries, before Warsaw became the capital city, and it is one of Poland's most important historical buildings. It stands over the Old Town and the Vistula River, providing spectacular views of both from the castle's bulwarks. If you only want to look at the castle, you won't be disappointed. Here you will find architecture from the Baroque, Renaissance, Gothic, and Romanesque periods. It's easy to lose track of time amid the castle's passageways and great rooms and spend half a day there. Wavell has been a national museum since the 1940s, where visitors may not only learn about Polish history but also see spectacular tapestries, paintings, and antiquities. Sharbiats, however, is perhaps the most important component in the castle. From the 14th to the 18th centuries, that was the ceremonial sort used during coronations. Because Wavell Castle may get quite crowded, it's a good idea to get tickets that allow you to skip the wait, particularly in the summer. 4. Cloth Hall The Market Hall is the place to go if you want to do some shopping in Kraków. It has existed in some form on the outskirts of Main Square since the 1200s, but its current incarnation dates from the 1500s. It serves as a reminder that Kraków was once the commercial hub of Europe. Spices, silk, and wax, among other commodities from the Orient, were traded in this market. You won't find anything like this nowadays, but you will be able to get some wonderful keepsakes for friends and family. There are plenty of stalls selling wooden handicrafts, silk, and jewelry at the stores dotted throughout the market. If you're looking for unique gifts, shop till you're almost out of money, but not quite. That's because there's an interesting museum upstairs that you should check out. The Suke Nitze Museum, located upstairs, includes some 19th century Polish artworks and is well worth visiting while in Kraków. 5. St. Mary's Basilica Its two towers, which differ in height, reach over 80 meters and were built out of red brick in 1347. You may get a great perspective of the old town from the top of the tallest one. Its interior is just as lovely, with stained glass windows, vibrant wall murals, and a magnificent Gothic altarpiece. 
St. Mary's Basilica, which contains some of the finest specimens of Polish Gothic art and architecture, is a delightful place to roam about and is still used by worshippers today. Every hour, the St. Mary's trumpet call is played from the top of the taller of the two towers. This is in honor of the city trumpeter who sounded the alert for the Mongol invasion in the 13th century. The music abruptly ends since he was shot in the throat midway through the call. The stained glass windows and gold stars on a blue background in the vaults are breathtaking within. 6. Kosciuszko Mound Tadeusz Kosciuszko was a Polish national hero who was praised for his resistance to Prussia and Russia during the division of the former Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth at the end of the 18th century. He led a doomed but valiant insurgency against Russia in 1794, which began on Kraków's main square. In the style of kings from Poland's distant past, Kosciuszko's body was interred behind this 34-meter-high mound after he died. The mound was finished in 1823 and is located 326 meters above sea level on the Sikornik Hill. The walls of a military fortification built by Austrians in the mid-19th century may be seen at the base of the hill. The neo-Gothic Blesp Bronisawa Chapel is located within the defenses and provides access to the mound, which you can climb on a twisting walk to get a view over Kraków's old town. 7. Kraków's Mound We've already discussed Tadeusz Kosciuszko's 19th century burial mound, but if you want to see a real pagan tumulus, head south of the city to Kraków Shamianki Station. This location is shrouded in mystery, as it was long thought to be the 2100-year-old burial site of Celtic King Kraków, the city's legendary founder. However, no grave has been discovered, and the most recent objects discovered in the mound date from the 8th to 10th century. It could have served an astronomical purpose, as it forms an axis with the sun and another mound, Wanda, at sunrise on the Celtic Festival of Beltane. 8. Teniets Abbey Teniets Abbey is a crack of must-see if you're seeking for a day trip close to the city. This abbey dates back to the 11th century and has a long and complicated history. It now has a Baroque design, as you can see. That's because it's been pillaged by the Czechs and Tatars throughout the years, as well as the Swedish in the 1600s. The towers soar over a limestone gorge and are one of Kraków's most spectacular sites. Tynek is a small town just outside of Kraków. As a result, this is a fantastic opportunity to witness life in a traditional Polish village. It will undoubtedly provide you with a unique viewpoint on Poland that you will not receive when visiting Kraków. Although Tiniets Abbey is still an operating monastery, visitors are welcome to visit. Take a tour with a knowledgeable and courteous guide. There's a modest museum and a cafe with magnificent river views. In the gift shop, you may also purchase food or cosmetics made by the monks. 9. Plante Park The amusingly titled Plante Park encircles the entire Kraków Old Town for 4 kilometers. Locals and visitors alike love it, and it's the ideal place to get away from the noise and bustle of Kraków's old or new towns. Paths win their way through the lush vegetation, accentuated by fountains and statues. Locals walking their dogs or playing frisbee are just as likely to be seen as tourists looking up nearby attractions on Google Maps. The great thing about Plante Park is there's so much you can do here, no matter the time of year. In the colder months, it's a magical winter wonderland while in summer it becomes one of the most popular hotspots in Kraków. Want to go for a leisurely stroll? Great! Play a game of sport with new friends. Yeah, how about chatting to a local? You can do all of that. The park is right by two other Kraków must-sees that haven't quite made it onto our list. But we're happy to include the Barbican and St. Florian's Gate in the section. 10. Whaley Pasal Mines Looking for one of Kraków's more offbeat attractions? Then you've discovered it. The Whaley Pasal Mines are a little under 15 kilometers outside of town, and for hundreds of years, these massive amounts of rock salt have fueled the city's expansion. Over one million tourists visit this UNESCO World Heritage Site each year, and the mines are considered one of Poland's most spiritual and culturally significant landmarks. The tourist path and the miner's route are two options for touring the mines. Both will allow you to explore immense underground chambers, travel through extensive salt corridors, and admire the exquisite salt carvings that border the underground pathways. The underground St. Kinga Church, an underground cathedral made entirely of salt, is an amazing must-see.